what is it going to be like when the storm comes? The Bible says that gospel, and I'm going to tell you something, a diluted gospel is no gospel at all. That's not the gospel. The Bible calls that, the prophet calls it whitewash. He calls it untempered mortar. It means, you know when, where they, they build a wall, the bricks, they, they, they put concrete mixed with sand, but he said that's all painted sand. And he said a storm is coming. And God said, I'm going to blow against those walls. And folks, those walls may look big and they may look beautiful. But the Bible said they're not going to stand when you face Armageddon, when you're facing World War III, when the nations are on fire, when we have missiles being threatened over our heads, and we've got mad dictators with nuclear weapons, when we're threatened with a dirty bomb, when there's terror all over the world. People are going to say, wait a minute. I'm empty. I don't know what's coming. I don't know what's happening. This is the King of Kings, and he's the Judge of Judges, and it's the Tribunal of Tribunals, and there's no Court of Appeal after it. The verdict is final. He is on the throne of justice. Shall not the Judge of all the earth do right? Oh, there's going to be some weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. Scripture that says they're willingly ignorant of the example of Sodom and Gomorrah. And it's not like any other time. Because any other time didn't have these nuclear missiles. They didn't have these terrorists threatening the whole world. They didn't have missiles that could travel two, three thousand miles and bring destruction. They didn't have it. It's a different day. This is not just God sending brimstone. This is a whole world of madness now. But when we see him here, he's not on the throne of mercy. He's on the throne of justice. That tender Christ who went about doing good and he kissed little babies and blessed people. Now, ah, there's no, nothing more beautiful than a little lamb. There's nothing more terrible than the wrath of the lamb. And one day God's mercy is going to be cut off. Mercy is gone forever. In the midst of the fire, when, when all of these vials of wrath are being outpoured on the earth, Two things are going to happen, the scripture says. It, it, it says those that have been hardened are, are going to blaspheme God. And when you go to the book of Revelation, it says when, when the under judgment, when their men are being scorched with heat, the Bible said they will blaspheme God and they will not repent of their sins. And they're going to be multitudes hardened to what you see. Their hearts are going to fail them for fear and rather than turning to the Lord, they're going to turn to their sins and go wild and they're going to despise God and they're going to blaspheme God. It says in the ninth chapter, verse 6, In those days shall men seek death and shall not find it. They shall desire to die and death shall flee from them. And now, when it's hopeless, I will judge. Yes, fire is coming. The storm is coming. But in the middle of that storm, it's going to be so obvious that God is behind it. No man can do it. People are going to look around and say, this is divine, this is supernatural. Man couldn't do this. And men will be trembling. God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing. Shall not the judge of all the earth do Remember, right? Remember, our God is a consuming fire. Sure, God is love. But God also is a consuming fire. The Word fire. of God says there's going to be a judgment of living nations too. One of the most famous preachers in the country called me at nearly midnight and said, You know what? I've come to this conclusion. God Almighty's already taken his hands off America. For the simple reason we've had so much light and rejected it. It's when the truth and the gospel has to be heard and preached in its absolute fullness.